Hi, my name is Carl and this is my channel Gadgets and Tech. Today I will show you how you can use a small keychain flashlight like this one and paint with light and uh, take photos like this one and this one and this one. Make sure to watch this video to the end because I will walk you through the process and then I will also give you some suggestions on camera settings like uh, shutter time and ISO that you can use to get started. I will also show you many different versions of this photo that I took during this session. And finally, I will uh, summarize and share some uh, findings and insights that I got during these sessions and things that I learned. The inspiration for this uh, session was a Reddit post by Yu Yuhun Reddit. I will post the link in the description to that Reddit post. You don't need much fancy equipment for this session. As I told you before, the light source is this uh, really tiny flashlight, uh, keychain flashlight. And you can pick up one of these at your local uh, gas station or any other place. And you also need a camera that lets you use long exposures. For this specific uh, session, I was uh, using my Sony A6400, but I did also do some tests with my Sony uh, A5100, which is a significantly cheaper camera and a really good first camera for anyone who wants to get into photography. I must also mention that when I'm showing you this setup right now, there is a lot of daylight in my kitchen. But when I took those photos last night, it was dark in my kitchen and no disturbing lights. Alright, so first of all, you need a cool looking bottle to make the photo look cool. Yu Yuhun Reddit had a very cool looking bottle with all those facets that gives this uh, refractions of the light. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a similar bottle in Sweden. All I found was like uh, something like this one, or I also had a few very plain bottles that wouldn't really give those uh, refractions and don't really have those uh, facets. So I took a totally different path and I chose a bottle with uh, stickers or labels on it. And I wanted to see if I could take a more traditional product photo, but still using this very affordable and uh, cheap uh, equipment. This specific bottle was a bit difficult. It had this metallic uh, kind of reflective sticker or label that caused harsh reflections. I also took some photos without the label to get a cleaner look. In order to get this more product photography kind of look. I also use some props like these um, acrylic ice cubes, which gives a fresh feeling of cold beverage. These were very cheap and I will put the link in the description where you can buy them for $5. When you handle those fake ice cubes, make sure to wear gloves because otherwise you may get fingerprints on your ice cubes and fingerprints on ice cubes doesn't look natural at all. It also looks better if there are no fingerprints on the bottle either. So I suggest you always wear gloves when you are shooting products. One more thing, ice cubes does not look natural if they are totally dry. So we need to add some water to make them look natural. The water will also add some nice reflections as a bonus. And speaking of reflections, I use a glossy acrylic sheet as a surface. I also made some tests by placing the bottle straight on my kitchen desk, but I found that the glossy surface made it look more premium. All right, let's take a look at the actual photo. First, I used a shorter shutter time, about 10 seconds. And there was a problem because I didn't use a totally transparent bottle, but a bottle with stickers on it. So the sticker got a bit underexposed relatively to the trail of light, which would never be the case in an actual product shot. 
So what I did was changing the shutter time to 30 seconds and I moved the flashlight around for the first 10 seconds just like the previous photo and then I lit up the bottle for the 20 remaining seconds. That gave a relatively softer light trail and a brighter label on the bottle. There was still a problem though and that is that the trail of light was disturbing the readability of the label in a way that would never be accepted by any brand owner so it didn't look like an authentic product shot. That gave me the idea to try to make a more conventional product photo using only this keychain flashlight. It actually looked surprisingly good given the extremely affordable equipment I used. But since I liked the trail of light so much, my next idea was to make a light trail only behind the product. And that uh, turned out somewhat cool too. I also shot a few photos without the label and it looks like this. This one has a larger bottle, but it was actually a bit too large for my kitchen, so you can spot an electricity socket here. So what did I learn during this session? Here are three insights that I want to share with you. You can create beautiful images using cheap equipment. A bottle with more facets will create more reflections than a plain bottle. 3. Simplicity rocks. Yo Ho Ho's minimalistic photo was a lot better than my photos. My photos had uh, all these labels and props and other detail that adds information to the stage. Alright, let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, photo session and uh, let me know if you have any questions. I have put a link in the description where you can buy those fake ice cubes. And finally, I will also share a few camera settings that will get you started if you want to try this yourself.